Now, as a teacher, um, having jumped both feet into uh, the digital game industry okay, through Ken Caper, what we have realized is that there is a gap between the video game industry or education industry as a whole. Now, there is a lag time of 50 years between these two industries. Now, is it any wonder then why the children in schools today are completely disengaged from the study? They have all these, they have access to all these great uh, technology out there, but in school, we're still forcing them to look at books and learn from books. Having taught chemistry in various countries, I found that students tend to struggle with the subject. Now, chemistry is one subject where, when they're sitting for exams, the topics are all connected. And you can have one question with four different topics all linked to it. And if a student doesn't know the link, they will not be able to answer the question. The Chem Caper is designed with chemistry completely infused into it. So everywhere within the game, you actually see chemistry. And um, one of the big hints that we've got here is basically um, when you look at the races, we actually um, created them in accordance to the five different types of metals. And um, basically, for example, group, right? He represents the reactive metal uh, type. Playing the game, you will see that within that mechanic itself, there are so many topics of chemistry all put together. For instance, the, if you look at the orb, you see the electrons running around, those represent the electrons in the outermost shell. And then if you look at the orb itself, there are bands on it. The bands actually represent the number of, in, uh, number of filled inner shells. And the colours of the bands actually reflect certain physical properties of the substance. And when the Ops are brought together, you actually see the different types of bonding that can happen. So you have covalent, ionic and metallic bonding. So this is bonding, a whole topic in it. What you see when they are battling are actually characteristics of those substances. So it's a whole lot of things pulled together. When it comes to exams, one of the things I've seen students do is they draw test tubes that look like beacons. Okay, so test tubes are supposed to be thin and long, but the beakers come out fat and short. I mean, the, the drawings come out fat and short, looking like a beaker. So that's actually the reason why uh, the tracing of uh, apparatus is in there. It's not just about collecting the apparatus, but I want the kids to be able to remember the shape and what to do to draw them. To make it easy. Okay, so it's simple. You just have to trace out the lines and uh, with. Well, doing it over and over again, it's going to retain that uh, information a lot longer. So the whole premise of Chem Caper is to make the learning much, much easier for this major exam. Just imagine, there's a whole lot of memorizing they have to do. Um, well, what do you think? Learning from revising from a textbook three times or learning through a game, revising through a game three times? I think the answer is pretty obvious. That's the direction we need to go. What the world needs is to bring education to the future. Let's do this together.